What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another VGC 2022 Showdown Live video. So, the other day, yesterday, I uploaded a video where I used the Necrozma team that you guys forced me to build on stream. Obviously this team is extremely suboptimal and very bad because the base form of Necrozma is... It's just not like a restricted you want to use. The other forms of Necrozma get so much more in this metagame. Uh, and it's just, it's not worth using regular Necrozma. And Bubs in the comments actually made uh, a good point saying, I feel like this team would be unironically good if you swapped out Necrozma for Lunala because I was running that Meteor Bream uh, power upset. So I tried that out and um, I've done like two or three games with it and it's it's one uh, like two out of three of them so far, right? Uh, and I thought, you know, I might as well just test it on camera. I haven't played too many games with it, so for all I know, this could be really bad. That's why we're on my test account here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be trying out this Lunala team. If you guys enjoy this game playing time, do me a favor, leave a... I'm sorry, I just messed it up. Leave a like on the video. <laughs> it's been like five days since I recorded the video because I was on a trip. But yeah, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And that was my New Year's resolution in a way. I'm trying to be consistent with my uploads. Uh, and answer my comment question of the day. What do you think of Lunala in this format? Do you think that maybe Lunala is not so great because of Calyrex Shadow Rider? We actually thought that before um, in Series 10, but it seems like Lunala could be okay in this format, uh, judging by previous interpretations of how good Lunala is. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Once again, if you guys want to join my Discord and you are an artist, I can showcase your art in the background of my videos if you just put it in the art channel. Uh, and of course, I will credit you. Obviously, like I'm just like, hey, here's this cool showdown background. Uh, actually, there is this uh, one guy on uh, TikTok and Twitter. Uh, I believe his name's Ken. It's it's longer, but I think Ken is in his name, and he has been making insane art recently. He actually just tweeted at me today um, that he was using um, or that he was making a, a Zygarde art piece, and it was like really really good looking. So yeah. Um, so I guess I should have explained the team. We're using Power of Lunala. It can take an Astral Barrage from full because of Shadow Shield. Um, it can actually take plus two Glacial Lance as well. So under Trick Room, we can Meteor Beam that thing for free. Um, and that's like with, like even if we didn't have Shadow Shield, like we would eat that. So it's like a roll if we're at like minus one uh, in our favor, or if we're at like less than full health in our favor. Uh, we have Bulkization, of course. We have naturally ran incineroar natural incineroar the, the standard incineroar i'm sorry i'm gotta get used to recording again but very berry glacier gmax venusaur and charcoal torkoal but yeah uh let's let's see how this team works obviously like i said this is like my fourth game i've ever played with it so for all i know it's complete trash um but i feel pretty good about setting up a trick room uh since i you know can just lead off lunala uh, i'm a little bit scared of the thunderous it could be kind of bad for me if I decide to lead off with Incineroar, which I feel like they're going to bank on me doing that. That could be really, really bad for me if I do decide to do that. Um, maybe I can actually just go Zacian, uh, bring the Incineroar in the back. And I think my last Mon is going to be the Torkoal. You might notice this team has no ground resist. Uh, get over it. So yeah, <laughs> that's that's my answer to you. <laughs> this team has no ground resist. How are you going to beat it? Get over it. That's, that's literally how you beat ground types. Just get over it. Uh, I forgot. Does Goth get Helping Hand in this format? I gotta check that. Uh, I'm not familiar with Goth. I know Joe made a video where he was talking about Goth a little bit. Um, Gothitelle, Helping Hand. It does get Helping Hand, which could be kind of annoying, but I definitely get my Trick Room off. And I think here, I definitely want to get rid of that Gothitelle before I can do anything, so I'll just B-Blade it. I'll just Beyblade it. Hopefully he doesn't Trick Room on me. As it, he doesn't, which is really great, actually. That should allow me to one-shot this Gothitelle with Moongeist Beam. Actually, I might double the Gothitelle because I'm a little bit concerned about Kali. I'm a little bit concerned about Kali. I don't think Kali stays in. Kali should be pretty scared of this. Um, maybe just single target it because the worst it can do is reverse Trick Room. And I, I probably don't KO it, but I can get a free sub out of this if he doesn't, um, you know, if he doesn't play this right. Oh yeah, that's a free sub. Now you might be thinking, Marcos, he just reversed the Trick Room. How are you going to win this? Here's a better question. How is he going to win this? <laughs> what does he do <laughs> versus this combo? I mean, he could be Focus Sash, obviously, and that could be kind of annoying. Um, but I just get in my Incineroar here, and I think I'm just going to target this Kali. Uh, I should be fine to do that, yeah. B-Blade it. Hopefully it's Life Orb. 
because that just guarantees I get rid of one of his uh, restricteds. And that just makes the rest of this game super, super easy for me. There's the B-Blade, and he was indeed a Life Orb, as we saw. Astro Barat. Oh, wait, was he not Life Orb? I'm stupid. Lost 100% of his health. Huh. Scarf? No, he couldn't be Scarf. That's idiotic. What item were you? <laughs> I don't know what item he was. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can just B-Blade this thing. Obviously, I have to be kind of scared of the fact that he can just annihilate me with... Um, <laughs> annihilate me with uh, Max Lightning, if he feels like it. I'm just going to double into it. He's going to Dynamax it, obviously. Uh, yeah, helping him Max Lightning is likely going to knock out my Zacian, uh, but I will get the first attack here, and I think this combo will knock it out. Uh, and that should set me up to win here, uh, since I can just... I think here I go Lunala, and... He's going to go Zacian, yeah. He's sort of stuck, right? He, he's sort of stuck, because if he wants to attack my Lunala, he has to let me Flare Blitz him. Because he can't get rid of Incin. And then I just get in Torkoal if I Trick Room. Uh, so I feel comfortable Trick Rooming here. Yeah, he just decides to close combat, and yeah, he reverses my Trick Room, but realistically speaking, how does that solve his issue of the fact that I am now just going to Dynamax my Torkoal and win? Yeah, no, that, that I think that's a win for me. Uh, let me Trick Room again, just in case he decides to not attack the Torkoal for some reason. Uh, I'm, you know, pretty physically defensive on this guy, so I can easily take that uh, Behemoth Blade, as you saw earlier in the video. I'm one, uh, running 100 defense to better match up against uh, Calyrex Ice. As, yeah, the Zacian has lost its privileges to living. Goodbye. GG. Well played. So we're just gonna max flare here, and uh, I'll Meteor Beam for the... for the for the happiness I get from clicking that move. And obviously we are on the ladder, you know, this is the test account. This is the account where I use the freaking <laughs> Necrozma team, so it's been like... It, it's been ranked down from like mid-1200s to freaking 1100, so... <laughs> obviously... Uh, we're not going to be facing off against like the most consistent of teams, but this is still a good place to begin if you want to see if your team works. Low ladder is a perfectly fine place to test new ideas before you bring them to your high ladder account, or for all you know, you can play on your low ladder account until it passes your main account like I tend to do, which is really sad because I do that way more than I should. Uh, he doesn't have much for Lunala. Um, likelihood of a dark move on this team is really low. It's pretty much just if his, if his uh, uh, Rillaboom is running knockoff, and that isn't terribly common. That really isn't common. Uh, I actually really like Lunala as well, because plus one Meteor Beam will just annihilate this thing. And I can go Incineroar, because... <laughs> fake out. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, Incineroar Lunala. Obviously, I want to bring my Venue to this game, because it'll help out versus his... Um, not Venue. Uh, my Torkoal to this game, because it'll help out versus uh, a lot of his team. And I think my last Pokemon's going to be Zacian, despite the fact that he has two Fire types, uh, purely because Zacian is, uh, is a beautiful Pokemon that we should all appreciate a little bit more. I could Trick Room here, uh, it's genuinely not worth it. I would honestly be more inclined to Schmeteor Beam this ho -Oh, and I think I can Snarl just to make sure this Torkoal isn't too annoying, because it could be really bad. Uh, yeah, I definitely live a hit from Lunala too. Maybe you just fake out the Torkoal and just go for it. Yeah, I'm just going to fake out the Torkoal. As he Dynamaxes the Torkoal, uh, honestly fine by me, I'm going to get rid of this Lunala and the Torkoal isn't terribly annoying. I might even take this just because Lunala is so bulky. Like yeah, I'm not at f- hey, that's why we hate Meteor Beam. I changed my mind guys, I hate Lunala. Um, I have new priorities, obviously. Uh, I can, I'm going to max Rockfall this thing, I'm actually going to give him my Torkoal. Uh, because I'm more invested in making sure that I don't lose my Lunala. <laughs> There's the Bronze on, yeah, he's going to go for the Trick Room. Uh, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue because I, of course, have my own. Uh, and this will get rid of his son, so I'm not terribly scared of that thing anymore. There's his Quake. Yep, that's fine. I'm going to go into my Incineroar, and I'm not really scared of this thing anymore. I can go for the Phantasm here, into the Torkoal. And it should KO since I'm at plus one, because my max Rockfall did how much? 65%? Uh, I think Phantasm, even though this thing's at plus two, will KO it. Uh, Torkoal doesn't have terribly high special defense, and I have pretty decent special attack, along with Stab. So I'm going to do this. If he has Ally Switch, this also catches the Bronzong. Oh, this catches literally anything that comes out. As he didn't bring the Xerneas, which is absurd. Actually absurd that he didn't bring that. 
Uh, and yeah, Lunala, I'm going to win this game. I'm, I'm pretty confident I win this game just by virtue of the fact that he didn't bring that Xerneas. Yeah, yeah, that was interesting. Um, it kind of sucked that we missed the Meteor Beam because we could have annihilated the Ho-Oh outright, but uh, it's it's whatever. It's 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 whatever. And we see the... Oh, man, I hate fighting Hyper Offense. Whenever I see... I, I get like flashbacks to Series 5 when I see Whimsicott and Cinderace together and it hurts like I know I know they're not broken right but like hyper offense can be really annoying to deal with if you're not um completely prepared for it I think what I can do here is um obviously Cinderace is going to be a huge nuisance especially if it's running a dark move but they don't tend to run dark moves it's it's super uncommon uh I'm really off Incineroar because there's no reason not to truthfully uh, in the back, I can bring Zacian, and I think I bring Torkoal again. It's been hard to find a place to bring Venusaur, but I genuinely don't bring it into um, Whimsicott plus Cinderace. If it was just Cinderace, yeah, fine, but uh, with Whimsicott, that, that becomes a whole different monster, you know? Uh, and here, I do get Fake Out Pressure, so I can just uh, guarantee my Trick Room, actually. Yeah, no, I guarantee my Trick Room. Uh, the reason I actually fake out Zacian here is because Regilecki could Dynamax, uh, but I'm not scared of that. I, I just want to make sure Zacian can't get an attack off, as the Trick Room does go off, and I now have uh, the ability to Schmeter Beam and go for the Parting Shot into the Zacian. Uh, if it's not Focus Sash Regilecki, that's pretty good. Um, if it is, it's whatever, because I still get plus one. And yeah, Incineroar can obviously come out, but Incineroar would probably... I mean, I guess it could come out for the Zacian, but this is just much safer of a play to try to annihilate the um, the Regieleki. Because one of them has to switch here if they want to do anything for the rest of this game. Uh, even if Kyogre comes in, it's not going to appreciate this. Uh, as I can get in... I'm going to get in my Torkoal. I'm pretty confident that'll be fine. They probably want to double Lunala, in fact. As they don't switch anything, which is just absurd, in my opinion. I don't know how you can justify that play. They play rough, do nothing. I don't know why they would do that. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to max Phantasm this uh, Zacian here. Uh, and I'm going to go right into my Incin because I don't need it if there's a Kyogre in the field. But if I can get rid of the Zacian, it's just free. As they go Cinderace, um, still fine because Lunala. Because Lunala. That thing's gone. In comes the Zacian. They decide to max guys with Lunala, which is a bad, bad decision in my opinion. Let me max Phantasm the Zacian again, and I'm going to Parting Shot the Kyogre because I'm going to go before it, and that allows me to get on my Torkoal, drastically reducing the damage that it's going to do. And all of a sudden, uh, they're scared about how they're going to win this match. <laughs> Feel them cower in their in their seat. Feel them wonder how they can defeat um, Torkoal coming in after their last uh, attack. Because they only have one more Max Geyser they can go for. And yeah, it's going to do a lot to Lunala, but... Uh, or not really, actually. <laughs> not really. Uh, in comes the Torkoal, and we can just click Moongeist Beam. I'm also going to click Yawn, because... Yeah. Nice! So far, this is going pretty good. Like, I know we're facing, like, low ladder, right? Like, obviously, that's something we can't discount, but... Uh, haven't lost on camera yet, which is nice. Uh, obviously, I lost one game before recording, but... Yeah, I feel I feel good. I feel good about this. This, this feels very schnasty. Now, here's the matchup! <laughs> Here's the matchup that made me want a Parization with Lunala. Eveltal, obviously the worst possible thing to face in this. Uh, also, the reason Glastrier is also not, not that bad. I guess you could go out Glacier. I, was it? Is it technically pronounced Glacier? I think it's technically Glacier. Um, I definitely need my Trick Room to win this, and uh, I need my Torkoal. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with the Zacian Lunala. I'm going to bring my Torkoal in the back. And I feel weird not bringing Incineroar to this matchup, but I genuinely think Glacier is going to carry if I can Dynamax it. Uh, as there's the Eveltal. Uh, like I said, it's going to be super important. Uh, he has to make a little bit of a decision here. And that's uh, how do I how do I prioritize in this game? What, what do I prioritize, in fact? Um, and I'd like to make that decision very difficult for him, obviously. Like, I want to make sure he can't do much. Uh, Behemoth, he's going to Dynamax to see Velto. I'm just going to be straight up with you. There's no chance he doesn't, and he wants to double Lunala to make sure I can't do anything. Because I can probably take a... Actually, I probably can't take the the single target um, Max Phantasm, or Max Darkness. I haven't calc it, though, obviously. Uh, because he just straight up let off with it, uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and go to Glacier here, and I'm going to go for the play rough immediately. Uh, if he Dynamaxes, obviously Behemoth Blade's going to do more. Um... But if he doesn't, I just straight up one-shot this guy, and that could be very, very good for me. Nah, I should Behemoth Blade. He's going to Dynamax. It's it's not worth risking. 
as he just goes in cinema and I could have trick roomed and that hurts me as a, as a competitive Pokemon player the fact that he just crit me I don't know why he did that um I guess because there was a thing on the field that wasn't great I'm gonna try to trick room now <laughs> I'm gonna try to trick room uh yeah that's like my only out if he lets me trick room somehow he just let me trick room somehow somehow he just allowed that to happen okay uh here's what i do i'm going to heat wave and i am going to i mean he can't one shot me obviously i might actually just go ahead and heat wave not, not max flare I might just heat wave here for the guaranteed damage and go for the meter beam because he like i said he can't one shot my lunala and i'd rather get the glacier and extern and dynamax that as my dynamax target as they protect obviously like you know that's not a bad idea let's see if i can make up for that awful turn one that i had to experience uh if evelto comes in here i'm gonna i'm gonna have a great time i'm gonna have a great time versus this if evelto comes in it's the grim snarl he's probably gonna set up screens uh, but still not okay i can also just miss that um Yikes, uh, this is going about as bad as it could go, uh, truth be told. Truth be told, it's about as bad as that could go. I might have to Dynamax this Lunala, and I don't like that one bit. Uh, let me go for the Heat Wave to try to get this Zacian, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I, I kinda have to. Okay, that gets rid of that. I should KO the Zacian now. No, I don't. I don't KO the Zacian, which isn't great. Um, but there's a little bit more pressure now. I can get in the Glacier. I can max Phantasm. I kind of want to say the Zacian wants to protect here, so I might max Phantasm the Scrimstar. You know, I have to play aggressive if I'm going to win, though. He's going to protect the Zacian, if not just outright switch it out. So getting in Glacier isn't that bad. Yeah, like this <laughs> this game went about as bad as it could have gone. Maybe I can Maybe I can win it by just... Playing super, super aggressive with my last couple of turns of Trick Room, obviously. Yeah, there's the Incin, okay. Um, what's good, though, it, okay, Thunder Wave. Uh, I guess I now underspeed that Incineroar, which, you know, that's never bad. My effective speed is 59. Yeah, I definitely underspeed the Incineroar. Uh, I don't underspeed my Glacier, which isn't great. Um, but I can I can KO the Incineroar now, which is good. Uh, I think I'm going to go Torkoal, in fact, and I'm just going to Max Rockfall the, uh, the guy. Yeah, because they, they had to fake out that. And, and, okay, I get fully paralyzed. So that wasn't great. Um, like I said, that, that's about as bad as it could go. I can try to Trick Room now, um, but if either of them have a dark move, I'm in trouble. Let me Heat Wave for damage. Or I can just go hard in a Glacier and hope for the best. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay. So how do I win this? You might be saying, Marcos, there's no chance you can win this. But check this out. I protect, and I yawn. <laughs> this guy got so lucky, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Um... Eveltal switching out this turn. I'm gonna I'm I'm I know I'm at like low health, but eruption genuinely is probably the most damage I'm gonna do to anything here. Alright, there's the Thunder Wave he misses, which is great. High horsepower, he's freaking shook a berry. <laughs> Guys, remember how at the beginning I said this is about as bad as this match could go? It keeps getting worse, is the funny part. Okay, check this out. This is where he throws and tries to go for the fake out on my Torkoal, expect me to protect my glacier. Or actually, I'm going to do this. He's going to parting shot. He doesn't have a fire move. I'm willing to make this bet. Okay. And now, now, I heavy slam the Grim Snarl to get my attack stat back. And I yawn again into the Incineroar. As he parting shots, guys, trust me. If I don't get fully paralyzed this turn, we have a chance at winning. Alright, that's one. That's one. We get our attack stat back. We're at neutral. 
Obviously, we're about to get intimidated again, and I get the I get the paralysis. That's great. That's great. And not the the paralysis, the the sleep. Um, it's it's of my opinion here. Oh, I forgot. There's a Zacian in the field still. I mean, I can just heat wave here. There's not really a reason not to. I think it should care the Zacian. Like it's, it's kind of iffy. Um, like there's no there's no other play I could make. I forgot the Zacian exists. <laughs> like I've been so hyper focused on everything else. I forgot the Zacian's here. He tries to go for a substitute, not realizing he just straight up can't. Uh, I this is still not unwinnable. It's just super unlikely, and that's that's what hurts my soul. Uh, I think I need to. I gotta yawn the Eveltal because he's been he's shown he doesn't have a fire move because he could have clicked it eight turns ago and won. that doesn't KO me. Uh, yeah, like I said, he could have clicked the fire move a while ago. I'm going to protect here and go for the yawn. I wonder, what, why don't you have a fire move on this guy? Fire is like still really good in this format. Yeah, uh, that's game. I can't win that anymore. But I will say, the fact that I still had so many outs after all of that, after literally everything going wrong every single turn, I don't know how that, I don't know how he managed to let that happen. Anyways, let's try to move forward and not get tilted from how awful that game went. Uh, let's see. So it's Torn Ogre with a couple of uncommon Pokemon. Uh, you don't see much Entei, you don't see much Dragapult in this format. Uh, Lunala doesn't look bad. It, it genuinely doesn't look that bad, especially if they don't lead off Dragapult. Honestly, it's only Dragapult that concerns me here. And I can go with my... Honestly, Venusaur Torkoal. I might actually finally get to bring the Venusaur to a game. And my last mana, I'm going to go Zacian. Because Zacian with some sun um, versus Kyogre's kind of busted. Yeah, actually, I, I'm kind of liking the way Lunala's working out so far. You know, beyond that last match. <laughs> What's our ranking, by the way? 1,135? Yeah, I don't know what we started at. I think we started at, like, less than 1,100, so it's not not terrible climbing for one video. Obviously, I'm going to try to make it to the 30-minute mark, as I tend to do. You know, I, I want to hit at least enough where I can put, like, you know, a decent amount of time into a video and have people be invested in what they're watching and not just be like, ah, oh, this is a five-minute video. And, okay, that wasn't fun. Bye. <laughs> Okay, uh, as they end up leading off of the Zacian, uh, obviously that's not ideal because they can probably go for the Max Phantasm into a Behemoth Blade. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go right into my Torkoal, and I am going to Max Strike into the Zacian. Um, obviously that turns into Weather Ball, but since Lunala is guaranteed to switch out before any of these Pokemon, uh, barring a U-turn, uh, I should KO the Zacian here if they don't immediately switch out. As they do stay in, uh, that should be a dead Zacian. And just like that, it's gone. Let's see if they like Phantom Force. Dragon Tail. Okay, uh, that was literally the best thing that could have happened. Because if they go into their Kyogre here... <laughs> okay, it's the Entei. Uh, I mean, yeah, I just want a Vine Lash. I actually won't even... I I'm not even going to switch, because if they go into their Kyogre and I go second, I live the attack. So I can just Vine Lash the Dragapult and Trick Room. Yeah, I genuinely want my my Venusaur to go down here as long as I um, get the Vine Lash off. <laughs> Watch them go into Kyogre to be like, now I outspeed you, and then I just straight up live and KO the Kyogre. Yeah, there's the Pult. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to get this consistent damage off for the rest of the game. I wonder where the Kyogre is. I wonder. As he tries to Airstream, let's see if he um, doubles the Lunala. That wouldn't be great. He Snarls. Uh, it's kind of whatever because we're just going to Meteor Beam him. <laughs> And now we got that damage for the rest of the game. Uh, let me go ahead and... I'm going to wait a turn. Is there a reason to wait a turn? I don't know if it KOs him from this range, so I am going to wait a turn. Um, and maybe... No, I don't wait a turn. Because regardless, um, this lets me just deal with that. 
Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go into my Zacian. I don't I don't need my Zacian win. I'd rather have Venusaur under Sun. And we connect. So after a Vine Lash or two, we're fine. Yeah, there goes the Zacian. I don't need it. There goes that. I don't need it. And now. Um, since the Dragapult has some extra speed, I should be able to just go for Eruption and, uh, I think Eruption plus a, which is stronger? I think Sludge Bomb's still stronger. Because of Stab. I actually don't know which one's stronger. But I know Eruption's fine. He Extreme Speeds me, which isn't great. Did I throw? I might have thrown. It depends if there's a Kyogre in the back, but I, if Kyogre is in the back... Alright, I don't know why Kyogre didn't come out earlier, to be honest. I might have just completely thrown there. <laughs> call me call me throw boosted. I don't know why I, I didn't expect the Kyogre. I just thought it would come out so much earlier, like with the freaking Venusaur in the field. Uh, that's whatever. Yeah, I threw there completely. GG. Uh, I should have kept the, the freaking... I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb, guys. That was so bad. All right, let's do let's do one more. Let's do one more game. Let's try not to <laughs> let's try not to end on a note like that. Yeah, um, I guess I could have kept the Lunala around uh, a little bit longer and maybe not thrown away my Zacian so early. This is interesting. I mean, it's just Tailwind Kyogre again with like a Duraludon on it and screens. This should be easy Trick Room. I, I like do the same thing, but this time I don't play poorly. Yeah, I, I do the same thing, but I don't play poorly this time. Gonna go into the Torkoal, um, and I'm actually gonna prioritize the Zacian because they should recognize that Torkoal comes in here. They should recognize that. And be more concerned about Kyogre. Hopefully they recognize it. I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit upset if they don't. Then again, we're on low ladder, um, and I could be overestimating them a little bit. But I don't think they just give me this thing. And even if they, like, you know, do Dynamax, it's not terrible, I guess. Because I take away the Zacian. What if they Hailstorm? No, they Geyser. That's fine. Um, And I'm going to go into my Lunala here. Because I want to say they go into Whimsicott. Duraludon. Okay. Uh, I can try to Vine Lash. I think I get it off. It depends. Uh, Lunala should take this hit because of Shadow Shield, but if they're running like Dark Pulse Duraludon, I, I don't eat it. As they Vine, uh, they actually Ice. Uh, why can't I say the word? What move was that? Hailstorm. I said Ice Storm for a minute. And they are running Dark Pulse, but I'm fine. Oh, I'm not fine. Dang it. <laughs> Why does this happen? Okay, uh, we did get the Vine Lash off, so we can still win this. Kyogre's gonna go down. I have to max guard this turn and go right into my Zacian. Because there's no reason they don't just attack the Lunala with the Duraldon and, uh, yeah, do that again. And yeah, uh, now I can win this. Yeah, now, now I certainly win this, actually. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, that could have been really bad. I feel so dumb. Uh, about that, that Kyogre game prior to the one we just played, but I I, I want to talk about the team real quick. Um, here's the thing. Lunala is really, really bad versus Eveltal, and obviously you want to bring Zacian to that matchup. Um, but Eveltal and Zacian both really like having, like, Venusaur, and the fact that Venusaur exists on that team makes, makes Zacian hard to use, because obviously you don't want to get Max Flared and one-shot and obliterated, uh, but... Uh, that's that's why you have to go for like the bulkization because it then it then like you at least have a chance right 
Uh, but I don't know. I, I want to see where Lunala can go. Incineroar's high usage makes Lunala a, bit, a little bit difficult to run, especially since even with max special attack, standard Incineroar doesn't get one shot by plus one Meteor Beam. Uh, so yeah, like you have to get a little bit of chip on that to guarantee a KO, and it just makes it makes it very difficult. I'll say that Lunala has a lot of potential in the format as always. We always underestimate Lunala um, at the beginning, and then at the end, it like suddenly becomes pretty good. Um, but I want to know your guys' thoughts. Do you think maybe I should run it with Groudon instead? Could Groudon be really good with it, or do you think that uh, Lunala is like probably as good as it's gonna get in terms of combos? Uh, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.